Good afternoon, it's Tony Hayes again from Ch Chair Paranormal Investigation UK and the date is the 26th of January 2021 and we're reviewing a piece of footage from the Chester Investigation CCTV on um, dated the 6th of um, January 2021 <coughs> timed at 2014 hours this is it uh, night um, I'm quite a way back now backlog of these movies producing since beginning of December phenomenal amounts of alarms and we've been tasked to find out what are the reasons for this particular um, escalation in CCTV alarms whatever that conclusion if we are able to find one so this is a um, what we call a window cam the in the main office which is one of two rooms which is um, experiencing high levels of um, unusual activity which triggers the alarms um, to ensure that we, we can actually in fact cover both front and rear buildings uh, of the building to ensure there's no human interaction um, in other words fraud a camera's been installed in the windows there's then a camera inside the the main office one in the hallway and one in the attic space area just to monitor for any sort of um, infestation that type of thing um, birds animals mammals getting in there making nesting maybe hibernating um, the camera in the attic area well it's not an attic area so an, an empty space between the false ceiling and the actual roof itself there isn't an actual attic or loft space there and it's captured absolutely nothing except sounds um, which had something been up there by that stage we been up there for three, three to four weeks we would have done so so this is quite a lot I can see on the, the audio trace it's quite a large loud um, bang there um, which is what's triggered this particular camera what I find unusual with this particular building is that the, um, you're probably talking 25 foot across so you can imagine say this is the actual room uh, there's a hallway here there's a camera there's a camera there in the corner uh, which covers the, the area of the room there's a window cam which covers the front of the area uh, of the building and there's the camera here which is this one which covers the outside of the rear of the building uh, looking for dog walkers or any sort of human really um, we've not found anything so it's this particular camera that's triggered to a sound it's quite loud uh, yet none of the other cameras have picked that up which is again in keeping with the with the building with other in the probably four four hundred and fifty movies that the building is alarmed up since last May. Um, only two cameras have picked up the same um, sound or light anomaly. It's only happened on one occasion. The rest of the time, it's just we're just dealing with one camera. Um, so, right, let's see where this one takes us. the bank it's all metal -y sort of sound okay right I'm just going to loop that and just get an average EQ yeah it sounds metallic in metal. Um, what is strange is the building itself is brick built, double uh, brick, insulated through the centre. In the roof area, the only, the only place where there's metal, it's steel framed uh, roof. Uh, 24 inch main gate that runs across the main building with steel outriggers so the only metal 
that's in the building are is in this the roof area. We've got a camera up there, but yet that doesn't alarm. This is the window cam camera. Could it be a radiator being struck? Um, possible. Now the heat, the heater won't be on at this time, it goes off about half past five, six o'clock apparently. Um, this is quarter past eight. Um, could be, um, could be radiator, that type of thing. Um, all we're doing at the moment is, if you're following this particular case, is recording this. Um, get the measurement of the frequency, throw some ideas into the hat radiator it can be the ceiling area because there's two cameras up there that will pick that pick that up is closer to it only the window camera picks it up and normally you get radiators just underneath it could be air blockage that type of thing uh, and that will be enough to trigger that so what we'll do is like we normally do we'll grab a screenshot of the frequency and then we'll record that one. Um, the recording is important because the intention is to find out what the sound is and the more frequency you have to analyse, better chance of finding out what exactly is responsible. So it's quite loud that and I've got no amplification on it at all. Okay, so what I'll do now, I am going to turn it up a touch and I'll go listen to the rest of the movie. Quite often we find, although that was what triggered the the camera, that loud bang, uh, whatever that is, uh, we get accidental captures after as well within the within the footage. Okay, nothing else in there. Um, right, okay. We just simply record that down as a bang. Um, Tag the frequency, possible radiator, that type of thing. Um, difficult to suggest exactly what that is, but there's quite a lot of resonance in that uh, sound for it to be suggestive of something quite rational. Um, load a load of side frequency so I'm fairly confident that that'll have a rational explanation uh, with that one okay 